Hello my fishes, Courtney Mermaid here and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be doing a little bit of a studio vlog style video. I'm working on a custom mermaid tail for a client. Before we dive on in, I suggest you grab yourself a snack, maybe a beverage of some kind, depending on the time of day, you know how we do, and maybe a project if you've got something that you're working on. So without further ado, let's just dive into what I'm working on today. So I'm gonna bust this out, show you guys what we're working with. Let me move the tea out of the way. Okay, so what we have here is a custom order. Now I do take custom orders. There's an ongoing wait list. Uh, at the moment, it is quite long. <laughs> I'm doing my best to get through it as quickly as I can alongside all of the tail launches and things that I have been doing. And here it is. It is a beautiful one. When I first received the mermaid tail application from this client, I was like, oh, you know, the colors, I'm not sure. But I was so intrigued by how they'd written up their application. I was like, we can do something with this. And sure enough, the collaborative process between the two of us has created magic as it usually does. So this is the front and this is the back. And I, I gotta say, my camera's not doing it justice. Um, the vibrant, rich colors and how it's printed makes me so happy, I cannot even. Okay, so now as far as extra fins go, we have so many extra fins, my dude. So we have a beautiful little dorsal. Short and sweet, but we love it. And that will go just back here. And then we've got lots of extra fins. We've got like the little, the little finnies, those guys go down here somewhere. I'll refer to my actual uh, template and my actual image after the fact. And then we've got these big, beautiful peck fins, which I think, is that the way that I had it? Somewhere, somewhere here. I'll again, I'll like, I look at my reference before I actually sew these together, but they're approximately there. So that's what we've got going on. So we've got the two little peck fins beautiful dorsal, and then these two little guys that'll kind of, they won't stick out quite that far. I think I actually have this one on backwards, but they'll tuck, they'll tuck in. Um, but I designed it in such a way that I wanted it to look like it just blended off, like blended out right from the side like that. So yeah. Okay, so step one in all of this is going to be to iron all of the pieces and make sure that I've got all of the right colors of thread that I'm going to need and fins crossed that I actually do because I have not actually checked prior to setting this all out and I would really hate to have to go out in this miserable weather. Okay, so here is my little warehouse of all of my colors of thread. It gets a little bit tricky when you have a tail that's so many different colors. So what I end up doing is for the seams, I'll pick, unless there's a really light spot on, t on the seams, which I don't typically do. Um, I just, I like it sort of narrowing to have the underbelly be lighter and also to have the dark so that it wraps around for the back. So I'll pick like the darkest kind of color. And I think this green's probably gonna be it if I've got it. It might also be okay with the purple since we've got purple down at the base as well. Um, let's see what we've got though. This guy's got some potential. This also has some potential. Now we're not doing a zipper for this, so I won't need to grab a zipper of any kind. And now we can get down to some ironing. Good, okay, that's hot, perfect. So since I know some of you guys are gonna ask, ironing has nothing to do with setting the fabric in this instance. It's purely for getting out all of the little crinkles. You wanna go through this way, you're gonna ensure that your seams are gonna line up if you've done everything else correctly. And if you need a tutorial or any uh, questions answered on how to do all of the things that I am showing you right now, I actually have a couple of eBooks available over on shopvancouvermermaid.com that will walk you through the entire process from start to finish. But this red and this purple pop, unlike anything I think I've ever done before. It's nuts. There's also something about seeing your work um, come to uh, like actually in real life, not just on a screen because the screens are all backlit, right? So it creates a different kind of an effect.
Okay, now we're ready to get sewing. And for any of you wondering, this is what the inside of my brain looks like. Okay, it's very scary. I got a new chair, by the way. Okay, so the next thing uh, that I do is pick out a movie <laughs> or a TV show or both. <laughs> Um, because I will be at this for the next several hours. So I'm gonna film in chunks. We're gonna cue a beautiful musical montage. But uh, at this point, we're getting down to some deep work. So buckle up, it's gonna get real.
Okay, fishes, so now we are ready to attach all of our fins, and I will be doing this before I do anything else on the tail. Uh, we only have two seam fins, so those are done after all of these guys are done. I will probably start with the dorsal, and then I will start with those fins, but because they're obviously on two different sides of the tail, I can pin everything first. Let's get the, the body of the tail off the hanger. And I'm gonna make this a little bit taller because, hi, I'm a giant. I believe it's like right there, but I just wanna make sure. This is what the image uh, that I refer to looks like. It's also what I send the client so they can approve it for printing. Okay, and then the bottom one, we've got these two big spots here that look like little butterflies. And then that's the middle. And then we just very carefully line everything up. Good, and so because in my template, uh, the scales are exactly centered with the rest of the design, it makes doing this part a little bit easier. Because then I can just use it as my own little template. I always throw in some extra pins. Now for this, because it's going in this side, we're gonna switch to a green thread, um, which actually makes me realize that while my machine is still threaded with that blue, I might just actually do the pec fins first. And then I haven't sent an update picture in a little bit, so I'm gonna do that really quick to the client so they can see what it is that I've got going. All right, so for the front, we're gonna grab that same reference photo one more time just to make sure, because we don't wanna accidentally pin and put these guys in the wrong spot, because wouldn't that be a bummer? So I think right there, that's gonna be the, that's gonna be the gem. We're gonna use this little guy as our base, and then that way it'll still line up with where it was. Um, and I think that looks pretty good. Oh, that actually looks so good. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Like that. I just don't wanna, I just don't wanna accidentally lose my spot. So I'm gonna look at these three dots. So there's punct here, so there's a dot here, there, and there, and so you can see if I line this up, just do it very lightly. And then the top, if I look for that dot, his corner will go right there. So this is actually just a little bit off. Again, I'm as picky with, uh, with my tails as I would be if it was for me. I just, I know how I would like it to be. So I'm a little bit, a little bit nuts. <laughs> so uh, these will get inserted at the very end when I go to pin the full body of the tail. So that's what's coming up. We're gonna do the dorsal. We're gonna do these guys. I'll do these guys first because I've got the thread for it. So let's get back to it, shall we? All right, fishes, so we have a dorsal fin in, and it looks amazing, if I dare say so myself. I also have the pec fins in there, so the next thing that I will do is I need to pin these guys into each other so that I don't accidentally sew on them. 
you gotta, you just, you always gotta be thinking worst case scenario, you just prepare for the worst, expect the best, but imagine that you're always going to accidentally sew over something and pin stuff down. I'm gonna do the same thing with the dorsal fin, though it doesn't quite reach, I mean it does, but just in that one spot, so I'm gonna pin that down. Pin these two sides together. Uh, I also have to refer to my reference one more time to remember where these go. I think they were more up on the calves, but I want to double check before I put them down. And then it's just pinning and then sewing the whole thing together. Then comes the fun part of like making the foot pocket for the monofin, which believe it or not, it has been a hot minute since I have made an open bottom fluke. It has, it's been a while. So am I nervous? Like a tiny, tiny bit, but I think it's gonna be fine. Just gotta do the thing.
Okay, now for any of you wondering how to do this, I will start my second camera so I can show you. Oops, Daisy. This is very simple to do this. So you have your tail skin and you have your monofin. You're gonna grab your monofin in one hand like that with one finger in between, just like so. And you're going to open the base of your fluke and you're gonna use the heel straps to kind of wiggle it open. And you're gonna put this in as high as you can go it's gonna be a tight, tight fit because it's supposed to be a tight fit, so it will be a snug fit. This is definitely higher than this monofin is supposed to go right now, so I can feel good about knowing when I pull this down, I'm not gonna rip anything or do anything bad. And then you just kind of pull all of the skin down around it, and you see how the monofin's completely covered now. Then you're going to feed the two sides of the monofin into, always holding and reinforcing the stitching because you don't want to pop your seams, which is what will happen if you aren't careful. And then you're going to go like that, and then she's in. And then the rest will just be a little bit of finessing and fussel farting, as I like to say. Uh, just pulling things and minor adjustments. All right, my fishes, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the pod and the bell notification as well so you never miss an upload. I had such fun working on this tail. I really love how it turned out. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this kind of a video. I Hopefully while editing it, I did make it long enough. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section down below if you want more content like this as well. And otherwise, thank you again for tuning in and I look forward to catching you all again in my next video. Happy swimming, bye.